Hello, hello. This is Pat with Petresca Papers. I am out in the Bluebird Bungalow on this Saturday, and I am frantically a bit trying to get the journals finished up and ready to mail to my family members who all live in Utah. So I've got to ship these. And I thought um, I would show you some of the things that I had gleaned from my morning YouTube surfing. Um, a lot of this is kind of self-serving so that I have a documenting format for what I had done. So this one is for my daughter-in-law who is mostly Irish. She'd probably say that she's all Irish, but she's really not. Anyway, so this book is, um, I think that the center, the, the base is a Dollar Tree book that I cut apart. When I was making it, I don't know if you can see it, I got some Fabrifix on the cover and I was so tempted to redo it, but I made a tassel to help cover that up. It doesn't really cover it up, but it does help. Um, and it clips on and off and then it got very it got very chubby very fast I don't know how she'll use this I I'm not silly enough to think that she's actually in a junk journal but she may use it for various things um, the pages most of them that I used were from spark birds uh, I'm not even sure what the name of it was. I took apart a book um, that had some Ireland pages. So she's got some vintage in here. And I have some um, card catalog cards that I ordered. And they just had the languages of the British Isles. So that's clipping on here. There's the little hidden paper clips. These were my prototype ones, so she gets those. Uh, just some fun ephemera in here. So inside is nothing special, okay? Uh, but it needs a closure. So I was watching, I think it was Wendy's Journal Adventures, or Journal Adventure, and she made a button and so I did this. I punched a bunch of these thicker cardstock. And then I actually found some chipboard that was a little bit thinner that actually I could manage punching. Glued them together, two eyelets, elastic, and you put it on just like this. I thought this was genius. Well, you know, when you're not as bright as the best penny. Okay, but now this has all kinds of space to expand, which I thought was very cool. And then this will go back on. Okay, right there. Is that on there right? Okay, all right. So I think if I don't open this up again, I think it's ready to ship. Okay. Now this one is for my daughter who daughter-in-law who likes to garden and she has chickens. And she's a really crafty do-it-yourself. She likes to can jams. And so this is a very old, not old, but it's a cover that I made last year, a soft cover. I used some textured wallpaper and I painted it gold and sewed and lined it and it just sat and sat and I thought I you know I'm gonna make that work for her I did sew in how many five signatures I created and found some garden planners and then I found egg records and then just a bunch of different things. Nothing, nothing, nothing awesome. 
Okay, nothing worth even chatting about in there, except it needed a closure, and it's very plain. So, I think again, Wendy's, and then a Wendy's Journal Adventure, and I think there were someone else. But this is a master board that I made and I cut up into uh, postcard sizes. And this was just sitting around and it looked good on that gold. So I've done two. I had some of those larger eyelets. And so I used the same yellow fabric and just tore some fabric and threaded it through. And then it comes around like this. And it can just be a knot, but I'm going to do a bow. She can do a knot. She may not even want to do put this on because it can be a little bit of a pain getting it on and off. But then that has all kinds of options to expand. So look how cute it looks. I like it. And I like that that's up there. That's, this is when I was contemplating doing sewing. I don't love it. My sewing machines don't like me. So anyway, there's another closure idea. Now, this one is for my son. And so it doesn't seem like a closure is, a, is necessary. I'm not sure. It could just end up being on a shelf and never be used. I'm hoping he'll use it. And I use some, uh, this is grunge. I think it's industrial grunge from My Porch Prints. I created some inner pages. He's got some uh, vintage paper. I did Volkswagen buses. Not that he has one, but if you were to ask him, that would be something he'd love to have. And I just found some ephemera. I made him some clips, the hidden clips. I just took and found some of this ephemera and shrunk it down and created some of those clips for him. So really, again, nothing special. But I do want to be able to look back at this and go, what did I do for him? I think I'm going to come up with some kind of a nameplate. And I think everybody is going to get some kind of a book plate in there and a letter. Giving them an idea about what to use this for. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to document this. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. I hope you find some time to create. And... Thank you so much always for your support. Subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell. You know the routine. Hey, thank you guys. Have a great day. See you again soon. Bye-bye.